So recently I was at a local guitar shop and I picked up the Trio Band Creator pedal. If this is not a guitar pedal that you're familiar with, basically you play a guitar track through this pedal and then it creates a bass line and a drum track that will match the BPMs of whatever you've just played. You have three different parts that you can program as well, whether it be a verse, chorus, bridge, however you want to arrange that. And so that gave me a thought. As one who always likes to try to innovate within the home studio, I thought, is there a way that I could actually integrate this with Cakewalk by BandLab? By taking the bass track straight from the trio into my DAW and matching it with one of the addictive drum loops. What you're going to see now is just a brief journey of me actually giving this the first run um, with a song that I just kind of was winging. So I hope you find this entertaining. Uh, my next little experiment that I'm going to try is to actually take a song that's already in my DAW into the pedal and back into the DAW to have a bass track. The thing that really got me though was that the bass track that was actually recorded and imported sounded amazing. I'm sure the results will speak for themselves. So as you can see now I'm getting ready to switch to the chorus. I do have the drum knob turned all the way down as I'm using addictive drums within Cakewalk by BandLab. I knew that would give me a lot better sound. And so although this song isn't completely done yet, you're going to hear just a brief example of exactly what you can do with this now. Enjoy. So definitely a nice little experiment to do here in the studio today. I'm definitely pleased with the results, and I might even use this on a future track. I think, um, honestly, the bass sounded really good. I had to do little or no processing to it inside my DAW. 
uh, apart from just doing the, the typical stuff that I always would do to a bass track, I didn't have to do anything over the top to get this to, to really set well in the mix. I was very surprised, actually, by the outcome of it. I think next time I'm going to actually focus on making a, a better arrangement, a better production. Um, and then, like I said, I'm going to try to go back and actually take a song that's already in my DAW, maybe a guitar track, play it through the pedal, and then bring the pedal back into the DAW for the bass track that way. Um, and that's the thing that I'd like to leave you guys with today. Always be experimenting. Always be doing things different. It'll break that monotony. It'll help you to get over the hump of, you know, just the grind of doing the same thing in and day in and day out. And, and you never know, you might find something cool like I feel like I found today. All right, that's all I got for today, guys. And if you'd like to hear the song in its entirety after I get the drums lined out and everything kind of balanced a little bit better, uh, leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know that you would like to hear that. By the way, don't forget either that we are having a giveaway still for the Donner Alpha FX guitar pedal. And you will receive an extra 100 entries if you can answer the question that I'll be posing on the giveaway tonight. And the question that I'll want you to answer is, what was the Easter egg that was found in the Pro Channel plugins? All right, guys, I had fun with this one. Until next time, I'll see you all later.